Hi, Nick here, and in this video I want to show you how we go from this to this. It's how to use a green screen and edit with Camtasia. Yes, in this video I want to show you exactly how we use a green screen and how we can move our subject around it and how we can add some extra elements as well to make it a nice talking head that makes sense. Really easy to do and more people should do it, quite frankly. Uh, and it's also something that we can do remotely. Okay, so first of all then, let's, uh, we have our canvas here. I'm in Camtasia, a nice, a nice easy uh, piece of software to use. And I shall use a, a clip here of Lucy, who's a business growth coach. Um, and we shot this just before Christmas, just sitting in her kitchen. We put the green screen behind her. So we, dra dra so we drag that into her timeline, or into the timeline. There she is. Um, okay, and we want to, first of all, we'll change that green screen. So we'll put that onto track two. Now, first things first, we want to remove that color. So in Camtasia and in different, uh, different editing software, we'll call this something slightly different, but it's, uh, it's always gonna be the same. But we remove a color or chroma key or something like that, or really simply green screen. So we're gonna remove a color. So we're gonna remove that, uh, that color. So we drop that onto our clip and that then comes up with remove a color in our properties defaults to that green but that's obviously not the green that we have on our green screen it's slightly different so we have a little color picker here and so we'll get the greenest bit and just click on that mm. let's see how that goes and then we've got tolerance softness hue and defringe so we can get a bit of tolerance that just takes that green out let's make that a little bigger yeah so that's removed that we can make it softer you see what that does to lucy's hair there so we can make it harder or softer we're trying to keep the get the grid of the green but uh, there we can change the hue and we can defringe as well which makes things a little little better let's see that takes color out of lucy so be mindful that uh, it's only the it's only the background that we're actually trying to uh, trying to replace so that's not too bad there that'll do for our demonstration at least now we want to put a different background in so we'll go into our library and i've got a call out here how i made this i went to annotations added an annotation took off the typing, dragged it, and then changed its color again using our color our color uh, tool. So if you look, it was a fill style, the solid. Um, I then made it this color, and that's how we made that, um, that background. In fact, we can probably just use that anyway. Pop that there. We can drag that, and as you can see, that is now filling up the background just nicely okay and as you see we've still got this little gap there at the edge so we just want to crop make sure you've got that highlighted that uh, the clip with Lucy in it I'm just going to crop that and as you see as I crop it and I can be quite uh, generous because Lucy doesn't move around too much as I crop it, the, the blue background is there anyway. <clears throat> so there we have Lucy sat there with her corporate background. Now she's absolutely dead slap bang in the middle, but because we've cropped it, we can actually move Lucy anywhere we want. So we can move Lucy to the side like that. Or we can move her to the other side, just to give ourselves a nice piece of blank space at the side that we can put other bits and pieces in. So let's keep her, let's move her over to that side. I think that's about right, that will do us. And then we can add a couple of extra elements that, uh, that we pre-made, go back into media. So here we have some elements that we've pre-made. So we can have, this is, uh, we can drag and drop that 
onto our timeline. And then, oops, if we highlight it, we can move that around, make that proper there. So that is our lower third, just in there. So now if we go back to the beginning, not want, let's just move that lower third just a little bit out. So it's going to come in. So when Lucy's speaking, that's the lower third there. But actually, we'll move it that way. This is when she's talking about. Let's just clip that bit off so we've got Lucy speaking. Then we can drag all these elements to the end. That one's going to come in and out anyway. So we want the background at the end. So there we go, so there's Lucy with the lower third. Quite happily. And then she's actually talking about something called the formula. So we can actually drag and drop that onto our timeline as well. Obviously, that has now taken up the entire space, but we can now reduce that down. And we can have that formula in the background. So Lucy's talking, talking about the formula, so that then comes up and she can talk about that and fill it in. And you can have that just popping up there, or if you want to be a little bit fancy then, we can actually look at some transitions and we can just have it fading in by just dropping that into the timeline. And it fades in. And of course, if it's faded in, you probably want it to fade out. And there it does just fade out. And that is a very quick example of how we go from that to this. And then when you're all done, hit share, download it, and you're good to go. Hope you found that interesting. Hope that's inspired you to try and make some green screens yourself at home. Uh, it's dead easy, it doesn't have to be green. Green is because we want to take a colour out that isn't going to be a colour that we're wearing. So don't do green on green or blue on blue or anything like that. But I hope that gave you some ideas. Uh, again, how you can actually edit the video, move yourself around the canvas so and see where you are in the frame. Uh, and put in a quick lower third and a faded in and out piece of content. I hope you liked it. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please hit the bell notification. That way you'll get updates when I next post one. And keep tuned for some more little tips and tricks for not just social media, but for video editing, video marketing, and marketing in general. Cheers, guys. Take care.